Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm gonna review it. It's another Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom trilogy. Now, unfortunately, I didn't find any Wave 2 figures yet. There is still some of it out, but I haven't found any at the Roswell Walmart that I went. And yes, I went to Walmart today. And today's review we're gonna review it is this monkey boy right here today what i'm reviewing is the transformers war for cybertron kingdom trilogy wfc k8 voyager class optimus primal leader of the maximals and i just want to say optimus primal is one of my favorite characters uh when i saw this at the first time when i getting you know when i'm getting into you know of the beast war series back in the day I think it was during 2016 or 2017. I don't remember anything, but here's the front of the packaging. But before we're going to continue this, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my main channel, my gaming channel. Link in the description down below. And speaking of the link in the description down below, if you guys want to join in the giveaway that I'm doing, go watch the rules of the video and the win $50 of Amazon gift card. And please make sure to punch the, punch the like button so hard. You will overflow. You will overflow everything, all the bull crap. And be advised, this video is not made for kids. It does cut their only for the age of eighteen and older. So yes. Anyways, so here's the front of the packaging of Optimus Primal. You can see the nice, cool-looking box box art of this. You can see Optimus Primal in his robot mode. Pretty cool. You can see the arc right here. Primal in his gorilla mode. Nice, awesome artwork of the Kingdom series. You, of course, you got Rat Trap, Cheetor, which I already have. I still need Rat Trap and the other characters when I need for the Kingdom series. So, yeah. Here's the back of the packaging. Transformed to 22 steps to Monkey. And I know Jimmy here will probably will see this and say, well, this video sucks. Yeah, yeah, this does. But, but I do have a request. Buy this, Jimmy. Buy this, and you will have a monkey with you. <laughs> and here's the top of the packaging. They have the Maximal symbol right there. And if you guys don't know what Maximal are, is the descendants of an Autobot. And the Predacons are descendants of the Decepticons. So yeah, it's from the future. And the card that this gave me is the art, which I already have one, so I'm not going to show it to you. Piss off of the box. Now, the only two accessory that Optimus Primal comes with is, of course, his... His two weapons, I don't know the official name of it, but it does looks cool. And the boo is kind of weird, but yeah. Also, for some reason, the camera is blurring out. There we go. Here we go. Nice, beautiful, painted, but I need more paint. Anyways, here it is, Primal himself. So here it is, Optimus Primal in his gor in his gorilla mode. Yes, the figure is a little bit a bit crooked. I'm trying to find a way, you know. To make him stand better, but yeah, the paint and sculpted the detail of this figure looks pretty cool. Black, of course, like all gorillas. Though well, there's different type of gorillas, but uh, yeah, black with some gray on the chest, and this shit right here. What should get on with it right about now? Unfortunately, this figure has some problems. Mostly, is the back of the gorilla of the beast. Yeah, a lot of beast characters, like, under animal mode, like, well, beast mode, has some robot, uh, robot cable showing, which a lot of people hate it, and I agree with this. You can show off the robot's legs of it, the feet of the robot, even the crotch area, even when you try to move the arm. Yeah, this shows, and I hate it so much. But looking, looking over of the figure looks cool. I wish the pupil was painted a bit more darker, but after this recording, I'm going to custom paint Optimus Primal. Probably just switch this tone of the fur that he have. Like in this tone, like off on camera, it's black, but off camera, it's like a different shade of black. So I might have to do that, but only to the fur area. Pretty much, I said I'll probably leave the chest alone and paint the pupils eyes and probably paint the finger the fingernails also I don't know I might have to look over the photos of gorillas 
primer looks great and all, but this shit right here is terrible. A lot of people agree that is that's because of the of the transformation. So yeah, this gorilla mode does have some articulation. Head going to go left and right because of the way the design, and also and also plus it goes up. But it will show expose everything right here. Which if I could bring my light right here, you can see all this and yeah. And plus the only and that doesn't go 360 degrees on the head because of the design right here. So you can go left and right. Arms, of course, this is the robot arms. Arms can go 360 degrees. Arms can go in and out. This piece right here is the shoulder pad spoiler. You do have some swivel right here, but that did the robot remote. Bend at the elbow right here. Wrist swivel. He does have a feature right here, which I'll show you that in the robot mode. Finger articulation. This is the first time I have a finger articulation figure. Waist does go 360 degrees, but I'll do it, I'll do it in the transformation. Legs can go forward, backwards. This is also the robot leg, by the way. Another spoiler. Some articulation of the knees, which, by the way, is the part of the leg of the robot mode. Again, spoiler. Pivot on the feet. Let's go up and down a little bit. But of course, robot mode, so not a spoiler. Now, Optimus Promo Grill Mode had two modes. The one he could stand on two feet, and the one you could have like an actual gorilla. To do that, is to have the head like that, have the arms like that also, twist the arm like that, with the hands like that, and make sure to... I think you have to have it like this. I may could be wrong. Someone, anyone can correct me in the comments. I was this close to buy, um, you know, I was this close to buy, you know, I was this close, well, uh, my brain has stopped working. I was this close to buy Psychonis, so yes, I'm sorry I have to repeat it again and again, my brain is kind of like stupid. Also, I forgot to mention one thing, he does have a butterfly joint, for no apparent reason, but yeah. But here it is, Optimus Primal is an actual gorilla mode on his four goddamn stinking ape, like that, like all the other apes does, but yeah. And before anyone's gonna ask, ever ever heard of that video, old classic PlayStation video game called Ape Escape? And yes, I am, and I wish they would could do a remaster it. But yeah, he does have weapon storage, by the way, which I had two tabs right there. We'll tap in the side of it. We'll have to flip it up. There we go. Yeah, the weapon storage of him is not that great. But it is what it is. So yeah. Oops. To transform Optimus Prime Moments to robot mode is pretty easy. Start off with the legs. Well, first thing to do is flip this up, spin this around, and plug that in. Next is to flip up the back piece right here. Twist it around like this, and we'll show the crotch area. And someone make another meme of this crotch area look like Sith from the Ice Age. <laughs> and let me tell you, it is pretty funny. I, I, I laugh my ass off. Now there's a tab right here, and I will tab into this tab hole right here, which, I don't know, you can't see it, but if I can try to move it out of the way, it's on a double hinge on this piece and this piece right here. So there's a tab hole right there, and you make sure you want to tab in all the way in. If not, you don't have a good knee articulation. If you hear the click, that means you're, it's already plugged in. Flip out his feet, and there you go. Do the same method on the other side. So, bring this out, plug it in, flip out the feet, make sure he's straightened out. Try to make sure everything's straightened out. Next thing to do is Move the arms out of the way first. Then I guess he had to, well, flip his butt down. This will be the robot butt. Bring this out. Flip this up. And spin the grill head into like this. And you want to make sure to flip out these side guns. And always make sure to flip it out. If not, well, we don't have Optimus Primal and his guns out. So what's the point? Spin this around. Push it back in. And I love this gimmick right here. 
And I love the gimmick what they have, like, you know, doing like that. Hiding, you know, the the character. Hiding, you know, the, the beast and the head. Which, they also did the same thing on Kamen Rider Double and one of the old figures back in the day. When you spin doubles, doubles uh, normal head to a Psycho and Joker extreme form. Pretty cool gimmick, I love it. Flip the chest around to have the robot chest. Bring the whole thing in. There's only one part I hate. There's like there's a gap right there, and I don't like it. Flip the gun down like that. Bring the shoulder pad out. They will lock it into place. Spin the wrist around. Do the same thing on the other side. Make sure the chest piece is straightened out. Spin it around. And make sure to straighten everything out of the figure. And there you have Optimus Primal in his robot mode. And I just want to say this is the first Optimus Primal in my hands. If you guys remember, I did a review on Optimus Primal, but the Transmetal version, which I used to have a job, but not anymore. Don't ask why. So yeah. The painted sculpt of the detail on Optimus Prime looks cool. It's like the same color scheme of Optimus Prime, but here's the difference. The shade of blue that you have is a bit, you know, darker and a muted color. So it looks pretty badass if you ask me. Problems with this figure have is he's suffering from a little bit of lack of paint. I wish I could paint a little bit more on the feet to give it a, look a little bit of silver accents, accents or something and a little bit more paint to the helmet. Well, his face. And speaking wish of the face, his face looks awesome. It, just look at it. It looks great. But I wish, like, his mouthpiece was a bit silver. But yeah. Ah, oh, damn it. Like I said, the only other problem with this figure have is this giant ass gap right here, which I don't like it a lot. And believe me, is when I see this, I just want to... I just want to say, what the hell is wrong with Hasbro? But it is what it is, so yeah. Articulation-wise, well, the head does go 360 degrees, so it is on a ball joint. Head can go up, can go down, and you can pivot a little bit like this and that. Arms can go 360 degrees. Shoulder can go, well, it's on a, shoulder can go up and down. He does have a butterfly joint right here, which I don't know why. Part of the, his bicep right here can go 360 degrees. A perfect over 90 degree bend right here on the wrist. On the elbow, sorry. Wrist can go 360 degrees. And he does have a great feature. Push this up like that. And it will flip out his side guns. Which I don't know the actual name of it. So please help me out, everyone. You flip up on both of them. I hope I, well, grab that. There we go. And he looks like he's ready to go. Now, there is some upgrade kits for it. Hopefully, I can find one soon. So, yeah. Anyways, his wrist, his waist can go 360 degrees. Pretty cool. Legs can go forward, backwards. His butt flat right here is on a, it's on a hinge. And every time I forgot about it, there's a peg right here. So, you can put his, a stand right here. And the legs can go back that far. Legs can go in and out like that. Well, on the waist. Leg can go, sh can go like this and that. A bend at the knee. I mean, yeah, bend at the knee. 90 degrees right here. Pretty cool. This part right here can move. I don't know why. But it moves. You do have some feet articulation. But it's on a piston piece. Piston joint right here. So it could go, so it could pivot a little bit. Feet can go up and down like that, but that did the transformation. Oh, and I forgot to mention one thing, his front toes can bend. Okay, I didn't even notice that, but that's pretty cool. So you do get some good articulation of him. Weapon storage, of course, because shove him in on the back. So yeah. And plus you could plug in the weapon on his hands. So just open up the fingers and just... Carefully, hook, go in, hold it up, 
And now he have both of his weapon on. There we go. Pretty cool. Not gonna lie, he looks pretty badass. Alright, I'm gonna go pause the video, give him the final post, give you guys my final result if you guys want Optimus Primal or not. So I'll be right back. Overall, Optimus Primal is one of the coolest figures. And, um, and I forgot to tell you the joke. The joke was Truck Nub Monkey. And I, I don't know if I said it on the part of the video or probably not. But yeah. If you guys want to get Optimus Primal, I highly recommend it to get it anywhere in the stores. And make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and everything. And hopefully, hopefully you guys can join in the, the giveaway soon. Also, I forgot to mention one thing. He doesn't have any Siege ports, so... Yeah, that kind of sucks. Anyways, you guys, until next time, whoops. There we go. Until next time, I'm out.